What is up YouTube? It's ya boys, making pie here. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Dark Disillusion Chapter 2 and Chapter 1 Remastered full video. Apologies I didn't play this on the launch day. I played it yesterday completely in one sitting. It took me an hour and 40 minutes. There are a lot of things I want to say. So you know what, without wasting any more time boys, let us jump into it. And of course, the one you're hearing, listening to me right now is from the future okay i've played this on my own recorded it and now i'm commentating over it so you know okay now first of all we're gonna watch this cutscene and then we're gonna come back So I really like the opening, it really sets itself apart from many other Dark Deception fan games. Here's the thing about Dark Deception fan games, okay? Look, they are trying, even this game is, is suffering from one of those things. This game is great, fantastic, one of the best, you know, Dark Deception fan games, but it has issues which we're gonna come to in just a second, but a lot of these fan games are suffering from this, I wanna say, the, 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 the limitation of what they think the rules of making a Dark Deception fan game should be, right? Like, they think they're, they need to focus on making it in a certain way rather than, you know, making it their own. So every time you see one of these fan games like, let's say, Edge Deception or Dark Disillusion or even Chaotic Customer Animatronic Atrocity, which I deem to be the best Dark Deception fan games at the moment, they still, you know, suffer from the fact that they think they have to play by the official Dark Deception rules, but which in reality, they don't. They can literally make it in any way, shape, or form. It doesn't even need to be soul shards, you know? The core, basic gameplay needs to be there, and that's all there is. There, there. That's that's all there needs to be to make a Dark Deception fan game. But enough yapping, ladies and gentlemen. I really loved the presentation of this. The way it started, the way you know it sets the stage, it sets the scene. It has the big game feeling early on. But immediately early on, even with all the you know big game feeling that oh yeah, this is gonna be a long journey and experience worth playing. It still immediately off the bat, it suffers from this thing of trying to increase the playtime so it has those chores. Now I understand, right? Again, Dark Division is not a puzzle game. We know that in Chapter 5 there will be puzzles, right? How about instead of like doing chores like this, why don't make it a puzzle? Like an actual puzzle, not, you know, taking something from here and putting it in another. No, I'm talking about actual puzzles. And then you gotta understand, like, players and gamers who play Dark Deception because of the gameplay, will they have the patience for those puzzles? Because they're not here for the puzzles, so that is something that you guys gotta juggle. It is, it is a long conversation, it doesn't hurt, which is why, you know, we need fan games of all calibers, of all sorts. But, ladies and gentlemen, we have this person, this, this monster, this creature, you know, troll G face, 
We don't know who he is. We don't know what his role is, how he got here, why is he here, how he ended up here. In, in situations like this, I just try to just focus on what's in front of me rather than trying to piece together the entire thing early on. So, again, as we saw, Beers, you know, this game has is sharing those lines from Beers trying to keep it as close to the original as possible, which again, could, it, it works It works here fantastically. It is a great, a phenomenal game. The story is intriguing enough, but it doesn't hurt to deviate from characters like Malik and Beers. I understand you need the familiarity, but what if you deviate from them a little bit? And when I say deviate from them, as in like, how about reverse the roles? Huh? How about you are on Malak's side this time, and you are trying to tackle Beers? Huh? How about that? Anybody thought of that? If this game had reverse roles where we died, and now we are Malak's puppet, and we gotta face Beers and her minions, or something like that, I think this game already has that. And it, it, it works for it, but we're not gonna, you know, complain on that. Okay, so the zone one, or should I say level one, the cultist carnage, it changed. It has changed a lot since I remember last time. And it is easier because I am playing this on casual. Get up. You should be more careful. Difficulty is not an op a, 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 a discussion. It is not a discussion here at this in this playthrough, this walkthrough. My take on this is that level one is a very enjoyable. This is the ring order. However, to access the ring it holds, you must collect all the fragments of fallen souls around this maze. Soul shards. Good luck. Oh. And one more thing, those things you met earlier, well, I'm not certain they'll just hand them over to you. Enough chit chat, off you go. It really sets itself apart from other levels of other fan games. It really captures the the, 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 the soul of what Dark Deception is because of that. But it keeps the spirit. It keeps the spirit of, let's say, monkey business level, where the first level is like chaotic, everything is being thrown at you, you don't know what's going on, but you're loving it, you're, you're into it. I like that. So level one, it really, it really is great. It is fantastic. I love it. I, you know, it didn't took me that long. It did take me a little longer, but it didn't take me that long. And yeah, I really liked the design, I really liked the map. Shard placement is something we're gonna come to in the second level, but other than that, I think I, I really enjoyed this level. It was pretty fun and reminded me of Freddy Deception the second level, because they are the same developers. That one I enjoyed a lot, and this one I enjoyed a lot as well. And we're gonna skip past that and we're gonna come to boss fight in just a second. That's it. Now get back to the ring piece. 
Now in between those boss fights, there are certain segments in the level 2 as well, where we're seeing these fragments of the past, we're seeing these visions and dreams and seek flashback sequences, whatever you want to call them, of the past. And we're trying to figure out what's going on here. That is great. That is subtle. Well, not subtle, but it's great. It adds another layer to it. It adds its own unique flavor to it. It's taking what the original did in chapter 4 and making it their own. That what That is what we want. That is what we want in more Dark Deception fan games, making it their own. Again, I'm not going to talk much about the lore because you know, it is there. And, you know, it's, it's, it's fascinating. I've had enough of your little games, mortal. You'll never leave this place. I'll make sure of it myself. <laughs> it's time for the ritual! Now, all we need is a sacrifice. Care to volunteer? There you are! Pentagrams seem to be the source of his power. Get rid of them. It is fascinating, but I want to talk about other stuff that requires some words. First, you'll need to break those chains if you want to destroy them. Boss fight, the first one? I look, here's the thing, right? It's the lack of sometimes lack of direction, which they're not that much in this level, it's gonna be horrendous horrendous, huh? horrendous in the next level, but lack of directions can sometimes really like make you lose, like make you, it, yeah sure, it's like, it, it frustrates you, but it also makes you, like takes you out of the experience, and you just wanna finish it for the sake of finishing it, rather than, hey, I'm actually enjoying this level, it is clean, the one, no. So yeah, I enjoyed the boss fight. It was it was a little smart, and yeah, you know, for for first level, first boss, because the quality of Dark Sim Fantasy have increased so much, things like this have to yeah, it should be standard now, but it does not negate or undermines how much work and effort a very small team put into this like this is no short of like high quality experience like really high quality like this could easily be a nine dollar game on steam with the amount of content and experience and and, and so much chaos chaos that is that is that that is in this game it is an easily like ten dollars game on steam it could easily be it, it would have been more <laughs> if it was made by some other developer, so props to the team, Dev, you guys are fantastic, let's watch the escape sequence. Thank you. 
Also, I really liked this uh, leaderboard. Don't don't worry about where I am on the list. Don't worry about it. But I really like this scoreboard leaderboard. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Like unique flavor likes. Like this is like a proper community thing. Fan games are for community members, and then we see stuff like this. It, like it, it 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 encourages the community, you know, togetherness and stuff like that. We like it. Okay, so let's talk about the level two. This is where problems arise. Okay, first things first, the blockade power. Even after finishing this, you know, I kind of, I kind of got a hang of it, and I, I, I see what they're trying to do, and I adore respect and courage stuff like this like making their own powers which a garden center looks like this place has seen better days just you great you know unique powers this is a great concept you know putting blockage for your enemies great but you'll understand why in just a second when i show you like when you are in like you, you are being pursued in pursuit of Huh? If you don't want to spend the rest of eternity as a garden ornament, it may be in your best interest to avert your eyes. That makes no sense. When enemies are chasing you, they're in pursuit of you, high speed chase, like they're literally on your neck. This could become useless because you have to turn around and then put the blockade for them to use. Like you have to turn around and then put the blockade and then the enemy stop. Because otherwise it, it is useless, you know? But that has happened to me on multiple occasions where the enemies are chasing me, there are so much on my end, and by the way, a variety of enemies, which is great, fantastic. I'm gonna come to the level in just a second, but if you look at these enemies, they stone you and, and stuff like this, it's like it's, 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 it, has a, it has layers, right? So when you look at them, you're more in trouble, and you have to turn around and then put a blockade. So, you know, it's a balance of one of those things, but either way, I love it, I adore it. Now, this level was annoying for a couple of reasons. And one of the main issues was lack of directions. Map is huge. The placements of the shards is headache. One of the things that I hated in the original Dark Deception was the placement of how far they've been put, you know? And sometimes it could be good if they're, let's say, 50 shards. But when they're like 150 plus shards and they're like scattered, you can see like, come on now, you're trying to increase the playtime, you're like, what's going on, man, come on. It can become a headache. And the fact that it was just first zone, not to mention the fact that these enemies were annoying, but that's mostly my play skill issue, that's not on them. Okay, other than those critics, I enjoyed this level, not as much as the first one, the first one really captures the Dark Deception soul whilst keeping it so super simple. Well, there's the ring return. The barrier is still active though. There must be more shards elsewhere in the building. Keep going. It, 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 it is a perfect Dark Deception level, the first one. The second one is trying a lot of things at once, and I respect and adore the fact that there are a variety of enemies with different ways they work, but, you know, I... We all love to nurture our nature and provide them with the nutrients they need to blossom and bloom. However, there are some plants that can't be sustained by simple plant food and watering. To keep some plants fed, it could cost you an arm and a leg, or even a relative. But what if I told you there was another way? With all new Malik's Original Plant Food, hacking off a limb to keep your plants fed is a thing of the past. Malik's Original Plant Food will have even the most vengeful of vegetation coming back for seconds and leaving your vital organs alone. Since my retirement, I have devoted my time to expanding and nurturing my garden. However, I have come to find that keeping my plants fed was beginning to 
deplete my follow account. Thanks to Malik's original plant food, I'm down to just seven sacrifices a day. This is just blood. All new Malik's original plant food, selling now only at Tulip's Garden Centre. Malik's original plant food is not responsible for excess broken plants leading to damage or destruction of property or personnel. If if the if an option is given to me, I would not play this level again. I would go back and play the first level, the first chapter, whatever you want to call it. Okay, let's move to zone number two. Okay, so everything revolving around the story, the presentation, it is fantastic. Probably the best we've ever seen in our Dark Deception community, right? The, especially the presentation. What lets this down, and I'm really incredibly disappointed, is the lack of sound design audio design it is it is the lack thereof has been the biggest letdown of this game and you'll know when you play it you'll know when you see it right there are parts of the sections of these levels that you know do it well okay enough criticizing there's one more person i want to criticize which you're going to come to in just a second but i want to give a shout out to the moloch's original plant food that was funny <laughs> So I got an unstoppable 200 shard streak in zone 2, which is when I figured it out, you know, what to do and whatnot. I figured out a strategy, a pattern, and I used that pattern to gain myself momentum and, you know, got 200 shard streak. The, the thing about these games is that you need momentum. You have momentum, fantastic things will go great for you. If not, you just gonna be start wandering around not realizing what to do, not trying, not understanding anything. I'm yapping, let's go to the boss fight real quick. That was the last shot. Now get back to the ring piece. The end's in sight. Stop right there, mortal. Greetings. I am... Malak. Why, yes, Beus. I've been watching you for some time, mortal. And I'm afraid you've started to become a bit of a problem for me. Your dodges of death have proven a little too consistent for my liking. Never before have I witnessed a mere mortal best the father. It's impressive, I must admit. But unfortunately for you, it's about time I put this little streak of yours to rest. I'm far too busy to invest my time in crushing something as weak and insignificant as yourself. Luckily, I have a little friend here to assist me. I'd love to stay and chat, but I'm afraid there's not much point as you'll be dead in about a minute. Goodbye, mortal. It's been a pleasure. This isn't looking good. Keep moving up. This isn't looking good. Keep moving up. Boss fight, we gotta talk about this. Developers, what the freak was that boss fight, bro? What was that boss fight, bro? I love the uniqueness of it, like you gotta keep going whilst dodging the attacks, you gotta going up and up, but man, it got annoying real quick, even the beers had the dialogue of this is just getting ridiculous.
It looks like you did it. Ah, I may have spoken too soon. It was getting ridiculous. The first stage, the second stage, the third stage, and then the combined four stages. It was just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. With all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I gotta commend. I gotta cut I gotta commend these developers for creating something so unique. We gotta encourage this behavior more of creating unique things. Probably one of the most unique boss fights for Dark Deception community. Probably one of the best, you know, fan games we will ever have in our Dark Deception community. M minus the few things that, remember, understand like I am over exaggerating the, 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 the critics that I had. I'm over exaggerating those. Let it be known that those things that I said, the negative things, does not make this any less of an experience worth not only playing, checking it out, but also paying. I'm more than happy to pay, okay, maybe not $10, but I wouldn't mind $10 for this game. I'd say $6. I wouldn't mind paying six dollars for this game, or if you have more can or qualities, you know, levels like this, I wouldn't mind paying even fifteen to twenty dollars for the entire game with you know all chapters included. That's how great this game is. And understand, like I'm, my stick of judging these Dark fan games is by comparing it with games like. Okay, a customer and I'm trying to trust it because those guys are putting in work. This is their direct competition, bro. Direct competition. Why they take this game takes the cake is the presentation. And I'm trying to trust it to get a customer, you know, they have great character design, great animations, and whatnot. Good work. But now Malik knows you're here. Things won't be quite so smooth from here on out. But there's no time like the present. On to the next nightmare. This game has story that is superior to that. This game has presentation that is far superior to any Dark Deception fan game that we've ever had. And because of it, it has earned itself as one of the best Dark Deception fan games of all time. And it is to be expected from developers like Thingy Magic, Lysanders, and all that other stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, I really enjoyed it uh, because they're trying to do so many different things, brought so many unique stuff to this game, and like I said, minus few negative things, absolutely worth it. Great job, guys. Thingy Magic Lysander, fantastic. Go ahead, 
play the game yourself, support the developers. We will be here playing the next chapter when it drops. Anyways, see you soon for more. Yay. Yeah.